Let's see how to solve the nice exponential equation. Let's look at the left side. The left side can be written as 2 to the power of a plus 4 is 2 squared. So 2 squared to the power of b plus a is 2 cubed. So 2 cubed and then to the power of c. So we can write as 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of 2b plus 2 to the power of 3c. So let's express the right side as a sum of some exponents of 2. To do that, let's list some of the exponents of 2. So we know 2q equals 8, 2 to the power 4, 16, 2 to the power 5, 32, 2 to the power 6, uh, 64, 2 to the power 7, 128, 2 to the power 8, 256. So we can write the right side 328 as 256 plus 72. 256. The largest number we can take now is 64. So plus 64 and then plus 8. So we get 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 cubed. So the given equation becomes 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of 2B plus 2 to the power of 3C equals 2 to the power of A plus 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of 3. So we have three possibilities. The first one, if A equals 8, then 2B can only be 6. It cannot be 3 because B is an integer. So I'll say 2B equals 6, 3C equals 3. So the first solution would be A equals 8, B equals 3, C equals 1. The second case, if A equals 6, then 2B can only be 8 because 2B cannot be 3, right? So 2B equals 8, 3C equals 3. So the second solution would be A equals 6, B equals 4, C equals 1. The last case, if A equals 3, then 2B must be, right? 2B must be 8 because 2B cannot be 3, right? So 2B must be 8, then 3C must be 6. So the third solution would be A equals 3, B equals 4, C equals 2. So we get three solutions to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.